Hey everybody, welcome back to Average at Best. As always, I'm Rob, and today I wanted to make a video kind of piggybacking off of the PVA release video that I made a few months back. Um, I had a lot of questions, a lot of comments, and um, I really wanted to make this video kind of going off of that. So if you weren't watching, the whole point of that video was about how the professionals keep their hand inside the ball and kind of snap around it at release, right? I myself have been working on trying to get more of that proper release. Sometimes if you just bowl focusing on one thing for too long, or if you bowl on a lot of house shot conditions, you can develop a lot of bad habits. And what I've noticed over the last couple months is I've developed uh, two really bad habits that I'm gonna cover today. The first one is the swing plane. Now, obviously every bowler is unique. But a majority of bowlers keep their arm swing either directly in line with their shoulder or just inside of it. I've noticed that because I'm trying to get inside the ball, trying to get my hand in the right spot, I'm pulling my shoulder back. So my swing is actually coming from behind me and that makes it really hard for you to get the direction that your ball comes off of your hand consistent on the lane. One shot, it might your swing might force it a little right, one shot your swing comes through normal it's out of the ordinary for me it's a bad habit another thing that started happening is because i'm getting my hand into more of the proper position i'm being forced to play a little farther left that's normal i completely expected that and i'm happy i can play more zones on the lane but one issue is now that i'm playing farther left i have i'm starting to drift to the right so as i'm bowling my feet are starting way to the left and I end up walking way to the right at the finish. I mean, I, I was in a tournament and I was wondering why my shots were so erratic. And one of my teammates was like, man, you're finishing 10 boards to the right of where you're starting. Obviously, if you're, if you're walking is a little off, if your swing is off, it's gonna make inconsistencies a lot more consistent. <laughs> So that's obviously something that we don't want. What I've been trying to do is actually get back into more of walking straighter, keeping that arm swing straighter, and um, while also keeping my hand underneath and in a good spot behind the ball. So obviously, one thing you can do to help this out um, is just simply get, just get on the lane. You don't have to let go of the ball, but just push the ball off and just let it swing. It should naturally swing like a pendulum in a straight line. You notice it's not going behind my back at all if I just let the ball swing, right? So that's one thing, just focusing on being relaxed, letting that ball swing. You know, we might think we need to use all of our muscles possible to throw a bowling ball, but really you have to obviously, you know, hold the ball to a certain degree and use your muscles to a certain degree. But there is an extent where muscling the swing is gonna be very counterproductive to what you wanna do with bowling. And then another thing you can do is whenever you're pushing the ball away, um, I had a tendency because I drifted right, because um, everything was pointed right, I would push the ball to the right away from my body. This would automatically cause my swing to get behind me just because, look, if I naturally just push it to the right, where's it gonna go? It's gonna go back behind my body. So one thing you can do is focus more on keeping that swing directly out in front of this shoulder. So if you push that swing out, maybe even a little in front of that shoulder, that should get that swing into more of a natural uh, pendulum feel. And I know I'm throwing a lot at you, so please, if you need to, go back in the video, um, re-watch to try to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and obviously, this isn't for everybody. Some people, their swing goes a little out, their swing goes a little in. Look at people like Brandon Novak, whose swing is completely unique to what almost any professional throws, and he still is a professional bowler nonetheless. So yes, you need to bowl like yourself, but my point is in this video is 
I have always bowled all my life with the straighter feet, the straighter swing. And now that I've gotten out of it, it's caused those inconsistencies for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an example of what I'm talking about, just so you can see it. Right here, I'm gonna walk out towards my target. I'm gonna swing my ball out. Oh gosh. And that is what happens. Now that was a pretty extreme example because I completely lost the ball off of my hand. Um, but as you saw, you can physically see my body move to the right, my swing come in behind my shoulders, and that's just, doing stuff like that, bad habits like that are gonna cause shots like what I just did to happen. So if we work on some of those things I talked about, like trying to, trying to just relax, just push that ball off and let it swing. And then not to mention my first, all I'm focusing on, I don't care about my last, I'm a five step approach. So my key is my first two steps just need to be forward. My last five can drift a little to the right because by then my swing has already pretty, pretty much reached, you know, 75% to fully through the backswing. So that ball should stay there as long as I don't force it to move out of that position. So here, I will show you guys what a proper swing for me should look like at this point. And we ring a 10 pin, but nonetheless, that was a better shot. It didn't go in the gutter. <laughs> so um, really just Sometimes we try to get into these different advanced mechanics, you know, throwing it like the pros do and stuff like that. And at times we can throw off the basics, we can throw off the fundamentals, and I feel like that's what's happened with me. So obviously nowadays I have much more versatility, I can really hit the ball, I can get more flat out of the ball and play straighter, but versatility does not matter if you are not consistent. And that's the problem that's happened with my game is these bad habits have thrown off my consistency. And sometimes you just need to get back to basics. It doesn't mean you have to throw out everything that you learned with trying these more advanced techniques. But what it does mean is that you need to just get, get everything consistent, get, get everything so it feels comfortable. So also the moral of the story is everybody bowls different, you know? And just because you hear us giving advice on certain things here on the channel, doesn't mean you necessarily have to do that. We're trying to give, to give advice and coaching from our eyes, and it just might not be the way that you bowl, right? So you can try these things, but if they don't work for you, that's okay. Everybody's different. And that's one thing that you just have to embody. You have to just embrace the way that you bowl. Thank you guys so much, everybody who's been watching, liking, and subscribing. We're at almost or potentially over 3,000 subscribers by the time this video comes out. So thank you so much. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe on this video if it did give you any, any help, any advice at all. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope everybody had a happy holidays, happy new year. And uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Peace out.